On February 18, 2021, the $2.4 billion Perseverance rover touched down on Mars with a flawless landing. Perseverance began to boot up, eager to explore Jezero Crater. But before the research can begin, Perseverance needs to deploy an experimental piece of technology. Within Perseverance's belly, there is a little robot named Ingenuity, an experimental aircraft that will make history on April 19, 2021, when it takes flight over the Martian surface, which is something that's never been done before. And NASA wasn't sure if it was even going to work, but it did flawlessly. But why is this such a big deal anyways? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain why Ingenuity's success is so important for the future of planetary exploration. I'm the Little Green Dude, and let's get started. To start off, let's quickly go over Ingenuity's timeline. Ingenuity's journey began on March 21st, 2021, when the Perseverance rover began to deploy Ingenuity. This was a very slow process mainly because NASA just wanted to make sure everything was going perfect and there would be no issues. It wasn't until April 3rd that Ingenuity was placed onto the ground. Over the next few days, NASA will run many tests to make sure everything is working correctly before the flight. After a few weeks of testing, Ingenuity was finally ready to take its first flight. And on April 19th, Ingenuity made history by taking the very first flight on another planet. Ascending to 10 feet, hovering for a few seconds, and then coming back down for a landing. The entire flight was captured by the Perseverance rover, which was about 200 feet away. This was a huge accomplishment. The atmosphere on Mars is 100 times thinner than here on Earth, meaning there's very little atmosphere to actually get lift. To compensate for this, Ingenuity's propeller had to spin at 2,000 RPMs in order to get enough lift to fly. Ingenuity was designed just to be a tech demonstration and wasn't expected to last very long. But to the surprise of everyone, Ingenuity kept going and actually became very useful for the mission. Ingenuity ended up acting like a little scout for Perseverance. It would survey the area to find the best path for Perseverance, as well as getting some great aerial photos. One of these photos actually shows a crash site of what appears to be another worldly spacecraft. But don't worry, this spacecraft came from Earth. This is what's left of the spacecraft that Perseverance arrived in, and it was supposed to crash. Ingenuity followed Perseverance around for about three years, and in that time, flew 72 times and in total got a distance of 17 kilometers. But unfortunately, just recently, this year, Ingenuity had an accident and will no longer be able to fly. After losing contact with Ingenuity, it's believed that the little helicopter crashed into the ground, damaging one of its propellers, which is seen in this picture. Unfortunately, this cannot be fixed, which means Ingenuity is grounded. The Perseverance rover will have to explore Mars on its own from now on. Even though Ingenuity crashed in the end, the mission was still a success, and NASA is already working on the next generation of Mars helicopters. There isn't much information on this as it's still in early development, but NASA has plans on sending another helicopter to Mars someday in the future. And it's not just helicopters. Mars Ariel is a solar-powered airplane that might be sent to Mars in the near future. It will have vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, and reportedly, it will be able to fly 16,000 kilometers per Martian year, which is 687 Earth days. And it's not just Mars that's getting all the attention. There's an upcoming mission for Saturn's moon Titan, named Dragonfly. I find this mission in particular very exciting. Titan is such a weird place. It has lakes of liquid methane on its surface, and it's believed it rains liquid methane as well. To date, we only have a single photo from Titan's surface, so it would be great to have some new high-res aerial photos. But unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a very long time to see this mission begin. The launch is scheduled for 2028, but it takes 8 years to get to Titan, so we won't be able to see these pictures until the 2030s. Still exciting, but wish we didn't have to wait so long. Another possible mission we might see in the future is a Venus surface sample return mission, where they would utilize a solar-powered airplane. 
But this mission isn't set in stone and is mostly just a concept. So Ingenuity is just the beginning. In a lot of ways, I think Ingenuity is pretty similar to Pathfinder. Pathfinder was the very first rover ever sent to Mars. It was small and not very capable, but it showed NASA that rovers could be used on Mars. And now today, we have rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance, which are light years ahead of the original Pathfinder rover. I think Ingenuity will be the same. 20 years from now, robotic helicopters and planes might be a common way to explore Mars. It definitely seems to be the direction that we're heading. And that's the end of this one. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a like. And let me know down in the comments if you want to see more space related videos. I enjoyed making this one and I want to make more space videos. And with that, thanks for watching and bye for now.